Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Microsoft Teams and a new app that we've just re released called Reflect. We all know the importance of mental health and well-being, and this app allows us as teachers just to get a, a check from the group as to how they're all feeling. So let me show you how we access it. So uh, just so you know, I'm using Office 365 for my Mac. So if you're using a PC, it may look subtly different, but the process should still be the same. So first off, we can only use the Reflect app in a class team. So this is my class team that I've set up. So what I can do is I can click new conversation. I can then click on my three dots and I can either search for reflect, or I've already done that, and then click reflect. So just wait for it to open up its window. So as I say, this allows us to do a check of how students are feeling. So we could do a, how are we feeling? Or we could choose from one of the others that are there. So we've got a whole range of choice. So we've got some personal and social ones. Um, how did you feel this week? How do your friendships feel? We've got things focused on learning. So it could be related to how they feel they're making progress in the class or how confident do they feel about the topics that are being covered. And then we've got some ones related to their goals and intentions. So you can choose which of those that you want. So I'm just gonna stick with how you're feeling today. Then we can choose the privacy settings. So we know that students are sometimes reluctant to share how they feel when they know that other their peers can look up and, and, and see what they're responding. So we've got a number of options here. We've got two options. We've got one, um, educators see students' names and reflections, classmates just see reflections and not names, or educators see students' names and reflections, classmates see nothing at all. So we can either have the faces showing or we can have just the educator, the teacher seeing what's what. So we're gonna leave that just there. And then we can set how long we want that window. So it could just be a very quick activity or we could do it over a longer period of time. So you can choose how long you want the students to be able to see it, to respond. So let's just do uh, five minutes and then hit send. So this is what the students will see and they can click on the response that suits their thing. And then as an educator, we can see how many responses have been made and we can see who has responded what. So you'll be able to see the names, but your classmates won't. And you'll get the tallies up there, so you'll see how many percentage students you get the the number of students and then their percentage there so there you have it a really simple way of checking with students seeing how they're feeling i think it'd be a great thing to do at the start of a session as a part of a connect activity where you just check in and see how they're feeling maybe after you've shared what we're going to be doing in the lesson you check how confident they are about the topic or maybe on the first lesson after the weekend you're checking how they're feeling uh, about being back in college. So they have a great little quick way of just checking how students are doing as they start the week. And what's really nice, really easy to set up, but also it you can set up in a way that the students don't see each other's responses. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.